In this series of videos, we want to look at uh, working through section 3.5, uh, writing equations of lines. Uh, the main thing here is I'm going to give you some conditions about a particular line, some characteristics, the slope, uh, maybe a y-intercept or some points that it goes through, and then from there, uh, you're going to tell me what the equation is for that particular line. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the first example. Just a little warm-up, really. And really, at any time that, we're, that you're watching these videos, please feel free to just pause it and try to work the problem on your own, and then press play to resume and uh, see how you do. So let's look at this first line right here. I'm telling you that the slope is equal to 7, and it has a y-intercept of 0, 4 fifths. Now, any time that you're going to use a formula, I want you to write the formula down before you start plugging anything into it. Now, for an example like this, uh, we want to use our basic slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Now, remember, this is great for if you have the slope and if you have the y-intercept. And we happen to have both of those. You have your slope right here and your y-intercept the y coordinate gives you the b that goes right here. So the equation that we're going to write for this is simply y equals 7x plus 4 fifths. Now if we look at this, I hope it's easy to see that you have a slope of 7 and you also have a y-intercept that would give you 0 4 fifths. Okay, so there you go. Now, when we write these equations for the lines, it doesn't matter if you leave them in slope-intercept form or if you write them in standard form. Um, but you know what? For something as easy as this, just leave it in slope-intercept form. That'll make your life a lot easier. Okay, let's do another example. I suppose I tell you that the slope is equal to negative 32.4 and the y-intercept is 0, 103. Again, I'm giving you the slope, I'm giving you the y-intercept, so we should be able to go back and use the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You've got your slope, and you know the y-coordinate for your y-intercept. So it's just a matter of plugging into that formula, and you're going to have y equals negative 32.4x plus the y-coordinate for your y-intercept. That's going to be 103. As you can see here from this equation, you have a slope of negative 32.4, and the 103 would lead you to a y-intercept of 0, 103. So there is your, your solution, your answer.